good on Warriors. It's your boy, Lionheart, I'm back. Feels good, man. Feels good, feels good. I ain't bored at all, man. In this lockdown, I ain't bored at all. Although I must admit, yesterday, I did get hit with an overwhelming sense of boredom and sadness. I must admit, that did hit me all of a sudden yesterday, just because I'm having all this time, yeah, because of the lockdown, and not able to go about my business. Like, if I did have a week off or whatever, I'd be moving about. I wouldn't be in my house. Although most of the time I would spend in my house, I'd go out, go see friends, do some shopping, um, go out, do stuff. You know, with this, you can't do anything, right? And I had like a blasting headache yesterday. Like, it was bad, right? And then, of course, my asthma, right, um, was like m messing with me. So, last night was not a very good night for me. But other than that, look, I don't mind this lockdown. The one thing I know is I ain't getting it. The madness that is going on, the C virus, I ain't getting it. I'm a survivor. Like, you know the survivors in Resident Evil? I'm one of those. I won't get it. I will not get it. That's it. That's it. But anyway, we're not going to get into politics. We're here to talk about Final Fantasy Seven, the remake. So yeah, man, I wanted to talk about my reaction to the demo. Um, what I want from the main game. And things that I am hoping to see in the game. Right, like, for example, what they haven't shown us or explained to us, really, is materia. You know, in Final Fantasy, you had different types of materia. You had um, green materia. Red materia, blue materia, purple materia, and yellow materia. I think that was it. You know, and let's say, for example, you had yellow materia. Yellow materia would be like stuff like um, enemy skill, where, yeah, where you could learn um, enemies would do like a certain attack. Like, let's say an enemy does um, mighty guard, yeah, you could learn. Mighty God from an enemy that would cast life. I think it was like Shell, um, which protects you, reduces magic damage. Protect, which protects you from, um, reduces physical damage. And um, Haste, which makes you go faster. And all types of like incredible effects, yeah. You had um, two times um, cut, yeah. You had um, Mime. Which allows you to repeat the last action from your um, your comrade. Yeah, so let's say, for example, um, Tiffa just did like four times cut. Where she does like four attacks, very powerful attacks, yeah. You could basically copy that if you didn't have uh, four times, you didn't have four, um, four times cut, no, three, four time cuts materials on each one of your players right and um, you had w w summon material yeah i think w summon material was yellow i'm sure it was yeah you know um yeah that was so that was yellow you had red material which is like summon material like you know um odin knights of the round you had purple material and purple material wasn't anything yeah, I think the only time I ever used, I know when I used purple materials, when you fought one of the weapons and you had to go underwater and you needed to have underwater material and it was purple. And that's literally the only thing I can remember. I mean, it's been a long time. I haven't played Final Fantasy um, 7 since I was, I'll be honest with you, since I was in school. I was in primary school when that game came out and I played it twice. One for a proper fight. Uh, one time I played it, uh, was just to play it. The second time I played it was for a god file. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, purple material. Last time I remember from that was the underwater one. You had blue material, which was like counter. It was, um, I would say it was a 
So I used, there was a material called counter, yeah? And it was literally just counter. It was, you had to have it with a command material, which was the yellow material. So you would have something like counter W summon, yeah? And then you would have the maybe counter W summon Knights of the Round, right? So you could have combinations of materia, but not any kind of combination would work. It's a lot of experimentation and stuff like that, yeah? And I remember there was blue material, that's actually quad magic, yeah? Uh, so yeah, that was like quadra magic, right? Uh, and then you had blue and um, green material, of course. That yeah, was like Ultima. Full Cure, Fire, Ice, Thunder, stuff like that, yeah? I want to see how Materia is going to work. Because how do you have Counter in Final Fantasy VII Remake? When you look at the way the system is, it's more of an open uh, action. It's more of like a hack and slash action RPG game. Yeah, so how's the counter going to work? You know, how is uh, something like four times cut going to work in Final Fantasy uh, 7 Remake? Yeah, I'm hella excited to see how all this stuff is going to play out, right? Uh, what will Protect look like? What will, what will Mighty Guard look like? I, I, I want to see it. I want to see it. What does Mime, if Mime is even in there, probably Mime won't be in this version because this game only goes up to the, I think they said when they leave Midgar. I'm not too sure, right? So yeah, I'm excited man, to see how it's going to be, um, you know, and to see Cloud as well. Like, I want to see Cloud's abilities, right? Because he's a superhuman, right? We got to see the level of superhuman he is in Advent Children, Final Fantasy Advent Children, right? But in the game Final Fantasy VII, you never actually saw Cloud's superhuman ability, right? Because you've got to remember, Cloud is, he's a soldier, yeah? I mean, he's not, he's a, I mean, he is a first class soldier. Yeah, he was never in soldier. Yeah, he never made it. He was just like a normal grunt soldier in soldier. Yeah, but he has got the abilities of an elite soldier, first class, right? Because he is a Mako infused soldier. He's got the Genova cells. That's why he's got like the, he got those blue eyes. Yeah, because he's Mako infused. You know, of course, Mako is the, um, it's like the life of stream. It is the essence. It's like a liquid that is the essence of the world. Yeah. And he's infused. He's a macro infused soldier. And he's got the Genova cells in him. Yeah. That's why he's got like, that's why he can do like all that type of superhuman stuff. And I want to see his superhuman agility, superhuman strength, um, his superhuman resilient, resiliency. I want to see all of it. I'm excited, man. I'm excited for this game. When I was playing the demo, man, I was so excited. I was playing the demo. It was, it was it, it was moving me to tears. I had to hold the tears back when I was playing Final Fantasy VII, the demo. I didn't know I would feel like that. It was unbelievable, man. Just for the first time when I was um, slashing, and then I used the ATB, and then you saw it go into that sl slow time um, thing, and then the music was going, the bombing mission music was going. Man. It just blew my mind, right? And I can't believe it. We are going to be getting Final Fantasy um, 7 in less than two weeks, I want to say. Or about two weeks. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. You know? Um, yeah. What else am I excited about? Uh, I don't know. I don't want to say it. I don't want to say it. They won't put Knights of the Round in this game. 
they'll probably pull it in the second game, right? But I would, I want to see, I want to see more than Sheva, Ramu, Ifrit, Carbuckle, the Chocobo, and Cactusa. I want to see more than that. I don't know. I don't want to say it. I don't want to say Bahamut. I don't want to say Bahamut, right? Because that, they might remix some stuff in this game. Because you've got to remember, you know, Final Fantasy VII had the, the original, had a lot of canon story elements that was not actually in the main game. A lot of things in that game, you could miss the story with Zack, who Zack was, and the details about him. You could easily miss that. Tiffa's in-depth story, how she relates to Zack, her relationship with Sephiroth, and everything like that. Optional, you easily can miss it. Even their um, limit breaks, their ultimate limit breaks, optional. Like, uh, you have to get all those abilities, you know. Um, characters, Vincent Valentine, optional. You can miss him in that game. Aerie's mum. The story with um, Aerie's mum, and I think it was um, Professor or no Doctor Doctor Gus. Yeah, you can miss the story of um, of um, Aerie's um, heritage. You know, her mum, her dad. You know, um, Set Prof's mum. The story with Set Prof's mum and. Um, Vincent Valentine, you know, you miss that story, right? Because Vincent Valentine loves Sephiroth's mum, you know, um, but Sephiroth's mum didn't love um, Vincent. That's important to say, you know, she was with um, Hojo, right? So you know, um, Hojo is Sephiroth's dad, you know, but that's that's the main. That's not a spoiler because that's from the that's from the game. That's from the original, yeah. You know, so it's like. It's just, it's going to be very interesting. It's going to be very interesting to see what elements of optional are they going to put into this game? Are they going to shuffle the organisation of certain events? Are they not going to put certain events into this game? How are they going to do it? You know, and also I'm excited to see Sephiroth because they can do a more in-depth, look into Sephiroth, the villain, because he was like the world's greatest hero, and then he became the world's greatest villain, and what a magnificent villain he was, but they can give him some gravitas, you know, um, just make it more of a fascinating, epic, adventure because let's not make no bound um no bones about it this game has got to be epic and it will be you could clearly see from the demo they're putting everything they got into it man i cannot wait i cannot wait but i'm calm i'm calm i'm calm you know first of all we got to deal with persona Royale coming out on the 31st, right? Then we have to deal with Resident Evil coming out on the 3rd or the 4th, something like that. And then on the 10th, we got Final Fantasy coming. So we're going to have our plates full, you know, we've got a lot of time. We've got to stay indoors. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I don't want to join these people that say, oh, stay indoors, stay indoors, stay indoors. Because I don't like being told what to do by nobody. Yeah. But, you know, it is what it is. You know what I mean? It's what it is. If you want to get back to normality and then just have this, this thing, you know, this C virus go right 
then we just got to do what we need to do. I mean, but yeah, as I said, I want to know what's going on with with your in your area, um, you know, in your state, in your country, um, what's going on? What's the um lockdown like in your area? I mean, here it's like this is it's it's weird, you know. Like just not hearing cars, not hearing people, not going to work, not being able to go about, going to the shop. And I just feel apprehensive when I'm in the shop, actually, because I'm just nervous of unclean people and dirty people. Yeah. And I don't want to get contaminated by that thing because I've got asthma. And if I get contaminated by that, uh, the C virus, I'm done. It's curtains for me. I can't afford it. Yeah. So, yeah, man, I want to hear what you guys are going through and um, your thoughts of, on Final Fantasy VII. Are you excited about it? Uh, are you getting it? I'm getting my collector's edition. I ordered it from the uh, Square Enix website. Yeah, directly from Square Enix. So I should be getting it on time, right? Because Square Enix did say that anyone that has pre-ordered it from retailers... They don't know how those retailers are processing orders. But they should be rolling out their um, editions. And everyone should get it on April the 10th. We'll see. Warriors, that's all, man. That's all I really wanted to talk about. Uh, Far Fantasy and, you know, a little bit of how you guys are coping with the C virus. Hopefully none of you have got it you know and you guys are in good health and we're going to try to keep it that way yeah so yeah man let's start a dialogue let's chat this thing up and uh yeah move forward from there take easy warriors <laughs>